I am Randy Robinson. This is Life Today TV, the online and on-demand companion to the daily Life Today broadcast. I have a wonderful guest with me. One of We've had a lot of great guests, and I'm sure we're going to have a lot of really good ones in the future, but it's one of my favorites right here. Squire Rushnell is his name. He's got a new book called Divine Alignment. He also had a book that was just phenomenal called God Winks. Mm. Thank you, Squire. Good to thank have you. Thank you, Randy. I'm honored that you're here again. You keep coming back to yes, us. Thank you. Um, even though you have opportunities to go on to a lot of major television shows. And thank, music you. Shows. thank you for coming back here. Give me a quick overview, overview for the audience of what is a divine alignment. Well, let me go back to God Winks okay, because okay. that's where it really began. Uh, God Wink is a little word that came into my mind when I was writing my first book, When God Winks, it, was not, it wasn't called When God Winks at that time. It was a book about coincidence, or I thought it was about coincidence, but then I realized there was no coincidence to coincidence. And if there is no coincidence to coincidence, then what do you call it? <laughs> and so uh, I spent about six months searching for, the, for what that was. What did a coincidence mean? And um, I got very close to the Lord during that six months time. And I, I started feeling that it was a faith experience that when you get one of these so-called coincidences that defies mathematical odds, and you just know that there is no way that that could be anything but from God. So coincidence just didn't seem like an appropriate word. So one day, this little word God wink came into my mind. I thought, hey, that's kind of fun, like God send, God speed, God wink. That isn't too heavy for people that are uh, outside the church, and I'm always looking for bringing people into the church rather than talking to the, to the, to the, to the choir. And so uh, I took that word and I put it into my manuscript, and I realized that it, that it really worked. And very soon, it, people picked up on it. They just could pick up on it. They realized that it was, oh, a God wink. Oh, yeah, I understand. I get those all the time. You know, once it was explained to people, they understood exactly what it was, and it's gone out now into the language. And so after six God wink books, when God winks books, filled with all these incredible stories, I started thinking about something that my wife said to me one day. She said, you know, we live our lives forward but we understand them backwards. And I thought, you know, that's a, that is so right because what I try to get people to do is to go back and take an archeological dig into their lives and start seeing the God winks that they forgot about, they dismissed, that were always there as like little signposts along the way. And if you start realizing how many God winks that you've had in the past, you'll start realizing that they're going to continue unfolding into the future. And now that your eyes are open, you're going to see them. But in that process, I realize when you pull back on the lens and you look at the God winks and you start seeing them from the, from the rear, from looking backwards, you start also seeing the invisible threads that were connecting one God wink after another. And you start realizing that you know that time that I got the job, you know, I showed up and that other person was there. If I had come five minutes sooner or five minutes later, I wouldn't have met that person that led me to the opportunity that took me into this career direction. Or maybe that day that I met my wife, if I had not been there on that particular day, if I had come back a, a day later or a day before, we wouldn't have met. Our whole life would have changed. And I realized that divine alignment is the concept of God putting us in the right place at the right time to meet the right people or experience the right event for him to put us on a path to where he wants us to go. So that's the concept of the divine alignment of God winks. So when you connect the dots of all your God winks, you begin to see the line that drawn that yes. God has drawn in your life. Yeah, and there is a pattern. And once you start opening up your eyes, you, you allow God winks to happen, and you start seeing them, and you realize, and, and what I try to tell people is that every
everybody has God winks. They are like gifts left on your doorstep. And my job is to get you to open a door and open your gifts. And, but once you start seeing God winks and allowing them, then you see them all the time. And, and that is, is the joy because God winks are a concrete connection between you and God. It's, it's something that's very tangible. It's something that you can really hold on to. And if you say, every time you get a God wing, you say, thank you, God, because you know it was just a message to you out of seven billion people, just for you. I'm with you. I can hear the skeptic right now. <laughs> you, you're taking, you have enough random pieces in motion yeah. that some are randomly gonna collide. And when they randomly collide, and you meet someone or you make a connection, someone like you is spiritualizing it yeah. and, and attributing a random act to a non-existent God. And now when you start looking for it, you're gonna start seeing things that aren't there. Mm -hmm. Surely you've heard this criticism before. Well, I think when you start looking for it, you start seeing the face of God everywhere. Because if God can show up in these little God winks and you start looking around, you say, gee, isn't it amazing how he designed that bird over there? Wow, isn't that sunrise incredible? You start seeing God all around you, and I think, I think God winks make God very real. They, 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 they help open the doors and open the windows of our minds and our hearts to receive him. Mm -hmm. I agree, you know, uh, I was reading, oh, uh, The Divine Conspiracy maybe recently? And he was talking about how heaven in the Bible, mm -hmm. we talk about the heavens yes. as, as distant, but in the context, even of the Old Testament, but also in the New Testament of heaven, God spoke out of heaven mm. and it was all around us. The idea that the kingdom of heaven is at hand and mm. that God is here if we will just learn to recognize yes. him. Sounds yeah. a lot like what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So that heaven and God aren't these distant things. Yeah. They're here. And if you'll just learn to see them, then you can learn to experience them and appreciate them yeah. much more. Is that is that a bit of what I, I think I think that I, I tend to think that heaven is not up there in a cloud, but there's a curtain here. And we go through that curtain. And it, and we go into another dimension. And um it, it, what is fascinating, in the last chapter of this book, Divine Alignment, I have a, what, what I do in this book is I have the seven steps of divine alignment. So I talk about seven ways to start understanding how divine alignment unfolds in your life. And the first step to understanding divine alignment is talk to the navigator. It's like when you have a GPS, you know, what do you do? You gotta, well, you gotta, you gotta talk to the navigator. Well. In our case, it's always talk to the navigator. And so I went through all of these seven steps, ending with the last one, which is uh, arriving at your destination filled with contentment. And, and we're always seeking contentment. And most of us never find it. We try to, it's, uh, contentment is, is like a hole that is built into our, into our soul. And we, we're always trying to put stuff in it to to find contentment. You know, as a baby, we cry and we, and, and mommy and daddy pick us up and they pat us and we have contentment for a moment, but then it goes away and we're, we, we're, we lack contentment again. And, and we grow a little older and we put drugs in it and we put alcohol and we put big cars and we put big houses. We're always looking for contentment. And that well within is made by God for one thing, God's love. And it's when we find that we need to put God's love into that well. I talk about David, uh, uh, Daryl Strawberry in this book, who was always trying to, he had a $20 million baseball contract and he had big cars and everything, and always looking for contentment. He never could until he turned to God and put God in that well within, then he had contentment. But I got to the last, the, the seventh uh, step, and I realized it needed to have another chapter in this book because so you've arrived at your destiny, your destination, your, you've arrived at contentment. Then what? What's next? 
So I thought, wait a minute, that's what, that's graduation. When we graduate, we want to go to the, the great heaven. And, 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 and that's when I started talking to people who had been to heaven and came back. One of them was a little boy that was in his heaven is for real. And then there was another a child and there was another little girl who communicated to God. And then there were different people that I talked to who had experienced death or near death experiences. And there was a great similarity in all of their stories. They saw light, they heard music, the beautiful aromas, the beautiful colors and, 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 and meeting people that they knew that were always in the best part of their lives. They weren't old and broken, but they, they looked beautiful in heaven. And so just painting and, and, and explaining what, what is in that dimension of heaven is what I really wanted to have testimonies uh, 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 that, that I can share in this book. Mm. Fascinating stuff. Um, do pick up the book, Divine Alignment. Where can people find out more about you? Well, they can go to whengodwinks.com. Uh, they can go to facebook.com slash godwinks. We have about 216,000 people. Every morning we gather and share Godwink stories. Wow. And so I always... Uh, put one out there and then other people comment at it or share their own stories and so forth. And then I'm on the Today Show once a month and I'm Gretchen Carlson once a month. and <laughs> All over the place. Yeah. Good. Keep doing it because it's, it's great, great stuff. Thank you. I also want to recommend my interview with his lovely wife, Louise Duarte. Yes. Uh, you can find that wherever you're watching this. Um, and she's a riot. She is a funny. Yeah. I mean, is, it, is she as entertaining at home as she oh, is here? Oh, we laugh all the time. You laugh all the time. That's laugh gotta all be great. the time. Yeah. Great. You can see them also both together on the Life Today show. <laughs> That's at lifetoday.org. Thanks again for seeing me. All right, Randy. Thank you.